Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Automatron DLC for Fallout 4. My name's Camel and in this video I will show you how to acquire the unique laser gun known as Protectron's Gaze. So first off to acquire this weapon you will need the Automatron DLC installed for Fallout 4. You'll also need to be on the quest Restoring Order. We will then need to come to the Mechanist's Lair which can be found inside the Robco Sales and Service Center which is located to the northeast of Diamond City or to the southeast of Bunker Hill. There are two ways to acquire this weapon and the first way to acquire Protectron's Gaze is to kill the Mechanist. However, once she is defeated, you will notice that Protectron's Gaze is not in her inventory. Once the Mechanist is killed, Protectron's Gaze will always be dropped on the ground, so be sure to search the area thoroughly until you find it. The second way is after making amends with the Mechanist, she will still be carrying it in her inventory. So to acquire the weapon yet still keep the piece, you will need to have the pickpocketing perk at rank 4, which allows you to steal equipped items. Make sure you are hidden before attempting to do this and of course save before attempting to do this so if anything goes wrong you can reload. If only you could save before a Friday night. Now as far as I can tell these are the only two ways to acquire Protectron's Gaze. I went through every single different dialogue path and dialogue option with the Mechanist, none of which ended up with the Mechanist giving me the Protectron's Gaze. So you will have to use one of the two previously shown techniques. Before looking at the base stats of Protectron's Gaze, as always I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. This means we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of Protectron's Gaze. So when we first pick it up, as we can see, Protectron's Gaze, 25% faster fire rate, 15% faster reload. It has a base energy damage of 38, it uses the fusion cells as ammunition. It has a fire rate of 57, its range is 47, its accuracy is 44, its weight is 5.1, and its value is 352 caps. When you first pick it up, it will always come with these modifications, the maximized capacitor, the short barrel, the standard grip, the reflex sight, and the amplified beam splitter. Now before we go ahead and mod it out, I would like to explain that Protectron's Gaze actually has some lore in the Fallout universe. And in that lore, Protectron's Gaze was a laser pistol with a shotgun-like beam. So although we could mod this out to make it into a rifle and possibly increase some of the stats, I would like to respect Protectron Gaze's lore and make it the best version of itself while still maintaining the pistol grip and the splitting beam. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and mod it out to be the best lore-friendly version of itself. First of all, we're going to be adding the boosted gamma wave emitter, which adds better burning damage, superior ammunition capacity, better range, and improved damage. Although its base damage isn't as good as the overcharged capacitor, adding the boosted gamma wave emitter will increase its ammunition capacity from 12 to 18, and it also adds the burning effect to each shot. Next, I'm going to be adding the improved sniper barrel with exceptional damage, superior range, worse recoil, poor ammunition capacity, and hipfire accuracy. This is actually what we want because it puts the damage through the roof, and we're going to be using it as a short-ranged weapon anyway, so accuracy doesn't really matter too much. However, that huge damage boost does. Next, we're going to be adding the Sharpshooter's Grip, which gives better recoil and hipfire accuracy, which makes up for some of the losses of the improved Sniper Barrel, and it's also the best pistol grip we can put on any laser gun. Protectron's Gaze already came with the reflex sights attached, and we're going to be leaving them on there. Adding any bigger scope makes looking down sights impractical. Because we're going to be close to the enemies anyway, a bigger scope will just mean we'll end up looking at the enemy's hair fall. And finally, it already came with the Amplified Beam Splitter and we're going to be leaving it there as it's the most powerful Beam Splitter a modification we can apply to any laser gun. So here it is, Protectron's Gaze, after modding it out to my lore-respecting likings. It still has the 25% faster fire rate and the 15% faster reload speed. Its base electrical damage has gone up from 38 to 62. Its fire rate has remained at 57. Its range has increased from 47 to 206. Its accuracy has actually gone down from 44 to 37. Its weight has increased 1.3 pounds, and its value has increased by 41 caps. So here it is, Protectron's Gaze, the weapon of the Mechanist. Protectron's Gaze was first seen in Fallout 3, and was given to the player character as a reward from the Mechanist, at the end of the quest, Superhuman Gambit, provided that you helped the Mechanist. So even in Fallout 3, it was the Mechanist's weapon of choice. Although how Isabel Cruz obtained it, I do not know, assuming of course she was not the original Mechanist. However, in Fallout 3, Protectron's Gaze was was a very unique laser pistol in the fact that it had a split beam. It was the only laser pistol in the game to have this quality, and as stated, it was a laser pistol. This is why, despite having the option to mod it in different ways to make it technically better, I instead chose to keep the pistol grip and keep the split beam, while making it the best version of its old self. And to be honest, I don't know if I would mod this gun differently. Protectron's Gaze is an absolute powerhouse, especially with its legendary effect, the 25% faster fire 
fire rate and the 15% faster reload speed. It already unleashes a short to medium range unstoppable laser wall, which will now set enemies on fire. And it now also has an ammunition capacity of 18 compared to 12. This six extra ammunition lets you swiftly unleash a torrent of furious red light with 50% less reloading interruptions. Provided the slightly aggressive recoil doesn't get the better of you, if you unload a clip into an enemy, I can almost guarantee they will be dead. No enemy I faced could withstand an entire 18 rounds from this Protectron's gaze. And although it's excellent inside VATS, I think outside of VATS is really where it shines. As inside VATS, you don't really get to see the advantage of that extra 25% faster fire rate. Whereas outside VATS, you really notice the difference. If you aim true and hit a single enemy pretty much straight on, they will be in big trouble. But the amplified split beam also helps against groups of enemies provided they are rather close together, as stray beams from the main target may split off and hit close by enemies. And because we kept the pistol grip, it sure is a light weapon. Now, although this is not stated anywhere, while using it in-game, I did find myself disarming the targets quite often. And by quite often, I mean a lot more often than I've ever done before with any other weapon. Now, although I cannot confirm that it has this effect, I would like to just let you all know that in Fallout 3, stray beams from Protectron's gaze have the ability to disarm targets. So perhaps this effect has secretly been carried across into Fallout 4 as well. If at any point you have a quick gaze and Harry and her Mining are nowhere to be found, this is the weapon for you, as it will protect Ron. And here it is, Protect Ron's Gaze in action. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, there is my guide to Protectron's gaze and how to mod it out in the most law respecting way. As always, I've been Camel, and if you did enjoy this video, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist, where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. As always, I would like to thank you very, very much for watching, it's been an absolute pleasure gazing upon what you're trying to protect. And I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.